The guy that's about to speak is the co-creator of Rick and Morty. One of my favorite shows. That and Breaking Bad are my favorite shows. But yeah, this guy is extremely amazing at making TV shows. But but when it comes to politics, this guy is a goddamn moron, as you're about to see. Hello, hello, thank you. I mean, obviously, it's like, uh, the, you know, hello, how are you, uh, and the usual niceties. I, I also should add, I'm not a Nazi. Like, that's a new, <laughs> that's a new thing that you just add to, to be polite. That's the new minimum definition of interhuman communication. You want to start? I'm not a Nazi. Dan, you need to shut the fuck up because you never met a Nazi in your life. So why are you acting like half the country is full of Nazis and, and everybody just needs to tell each other what side of the fence they're on? Practically, the entire United States is anti-Nazi. So stop pretending like half the United States is Nazis because that's what you like to label them. Why do you like to label them that? Because they disagree with you. Your simple mind can't understand and comprehend the other person's position. You won't listen to their position, so you don't even know what it is. And you can't debate them, so what you do is just instead, you name call. You call them a Nazi. That's how you win every debate. It's just by making them look shitty. Dan, if you ever watched a rally or a protest, you're going to see this all the time. You're going to see a left-winger walk up to a fucking right-winger and say, You're a Nazi. You know how the right-winger is going to respond? I hate Nazis. So they're falsely labeling this guy a Nazi when he's not. Why? To shut him up. To silence him. To They think that's how they win debates, is by name-calling. That person isn't really a Nazi, Dan. These people that you're calling Nazis aren't Nazis. You and your side just can't debate. Period. You're just brainless idiots that don't have facts on their side, so they just use name-calling instead. That's what's going on. But you have you to were, know that. It would go a little something. <laughs> <laughs> like and then you say, oh, Dan, no, it's, you're pandering. You're virtue sig signaling, right? right? Isn't that what you call it? You fucks? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, it's a, oh, you say you're not a Nazi, and then you get a big uh, bell and a cookie, because uh, that's so easy to say you're not a Nazi. Well, I, no, it's not that easy to say, is it? Look, I see it all the time, like I said. I see left-wingers always call a right-winger a Nazi. The right-winger says, I'm not a Nazi. The left-winger just repeats, you're a Nazi louder. That's what happens every fucking time. I've seen it a million times. You guys know they're not Nazis. Real Nazis don't say they hate Nazis. You know they're not Nazis. But you call them Nazis anyways because you're pieces of shit who don't know how to debate. It's not easy to say you're not a Nazi. The president has a difficult time. The president has to say it all the time. He, he doesn't say, I'm not a Nazi per se, but he says all the time that he's not racist. How many times has he had to tell the public that? A billion times. But they still portray him as racist. Why? Because the left can't argue. Look, facts and statistics are not on the left-winger side. So instead, they have to use bad tactics like violence and name-calling. <laughs> And, and he has no repercussions to fear, really, except for some Nazis not voting for him. And he has traded that today. He has officially decreed to the extent that a compulsively dishonest parasite can decree anything. Um, he has decreed that he is a Nazi. Nobody thought anything of Trump. Nobody thought he was a Nazi or a literally Hitler until he started re running for Republican president. It was that moment when you guys decided he was a fucking Nazi. Why did you guys decide this? Because he disagreed with you. He's never said or done anything even remotely Nazi-like. Yet you guys think he's literally Hitler and a Nazi. It's because he disagrees with you, you guys call him that. No other reason. You're bullies on a playground that name call. That's all you are. Because there are people goose-stepping down a main street in the heart of America, wherever the fuck that place is. Um, <laughs> and it would, would have been so easy to trade a couple of Nazi votes for what he might have hoped would be a couple of non-Nazi votes. Perhaps the easiest votes to get of all. <laughs> Simple non-Nazi votes. Low-hanging democratic fruit, it's been called. I promise to not be a Nazi. You're hired these days. <laughs> he couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to do it. And that is as close as you're going to get with a coward to his saying, I'm a Nazi. Okay, this poor man, Trump, 
has had to tell you guys he's not sexist, homophobic, racist, ableist, a billion fucking times. It's so he has to do it so often, it has gotten old. I've gotten gotten tired of listening to it, to be honest. But yeah, and you're saying that he's never declared that he's not a Nazi? Bullshit. He's declared that many times when he said he's not racist. Do you think there's any non-racist Nazis? No, there isn't. Dan, Which is he, what he said. He, he just wants to be loved. Yeah. <laughs> by Nazis. And, and 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 just wanting to be loved is is important and human. We all just want to be loved. And the big question is when you are not loved and a Nazi is across the street going, Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Do you go back to being not loved or walk across the street? That is what this civil war, and I promise you that's what's brewing, is going to be all about. And it's fucking over. The discourse is over. We have sat, we have talked, we have argued, we have pondered. The discourse is over. These people that tweet you when you retweet somebody, when you just say a simple fact that should not cause you to get a knot in your stomach, like, I'm not a Nazi? <laughs> The people that tweet you and say, nor am I, but just out of curiosity. <laughs> Look, all you have to do is disagree with the left winger. You're called a Nazi. I don't like strawberry milk. You're a Nazi now. When somebody tries to explain their position and they say, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe hating strawberry milk doesn't make you a Nazi. And what do you hear in response? Oh, yeah, you hear this. <laughs> when what you should have been hearing was... Disagreeing with you doesn't make me a Nazi! <laughs> Just tell them to go fuck themselves, the discourse is over, the war has begun. You don't, you're not talking to Nazis anymore. You're not talking to people that want to entertain the notion of being a Nazi anymore. You don't want to talk to people that want to circumscribe the concept of Nazism within a fucking Socratic uh, dialectic about goddamn whether Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. They're fucking Nazis! It's the bedrock of humanity! It is so low that the worst people in the world find it. And that's where they rally. And it's so low. We have gotten so bad that a third of our country has gotten there. 29% of the people are fucking Nazis. <laughs> I knew you were retarded. I knew it. 360 million people is the U.S. population. 29% of that would be 104 million people. You're saying 104 million people are Nazis. You are fucking stupid. 0.006% would be generous. That's 20,000 people. Let's face it. That's a minority. We can beat them. We have to say, I'm not a Nazi, though. <laughs> Two-thirds of the country just don't want to be political. It's not politics to say you're not a Nazi! Wow, you really believe there's 104 million Nazis in the U.S., don't you? Jesus Christ. The reality is there's 104 million people that disagree with you. Not are Nazis. People are this fucking stupid, guys. I'm just letting you know this. Uh, I, I know it's scary. It scares me, too. <laughs> It's like taking a shit! You just do it! Or you explode! You die if you don't shit! And you die if you don't say you're not a Nazi! Fascism is a fucking cancer! It will eat your country! Unless your country kills it! Here's what happens when you get cancer. Nothing good! Nothing! There is no way out of it. I'm your country's doctor. You've got cancer. You have fascism. You are going to suffer. You are going to fight. You are going to feel pain. You are not getting out of this. We have fascism. It is happening. We're fucking dead, maybe. Or, or maybe they're dead. That's about it. So you want to kill 30% of the population. 30% of the population that is not even Nazis. You fucking moron. It's not a continuum. There's no gray area. It's not a fad. Fascism doesn't pop up and then recede when it finds out no one's into it. 
It doesn't respond to love. It doesn't respond to hate. It doesn't respond to ignoring it. It doesn't respond to timeouts. It doesn't respond to attention. It doesn't respond to lack of attention. You stab it. You cut it out. You bombard it with poison. Or you die. And in any case, you will probably die. Don't die talking to cancer. Don't die hanging out with it. Don't die arguing with it on Twitter. It's fucking fascism. Enough. The only fascists that are a threat right now is Antifa, you know, the anti-fascists, you know, the left-wingers. So if you really want to fight fucking fascism, look at your own. Team up! Stop bitching about Bernie Sanders! I don't care what flavor you want your democracy to be! It's democracy versus motherfucking fascism! You can be as Bernie as you want! You gotta do it later, man! You gotta do it fucking later! You gotta do it later! <laughs> you got to oppose fascism! Alright, so. So I have fingernail questions. Because <laughs> I went on a week long trip and I was that like, That was a fucking hairpin turn, man. <laughs> You have fingernail questions. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyways, I hope you guys liked my video. I'll catch you on the next episode.